Yeah. All I'm trying to show you is, hey, this is just a board game. The reason why they're getting so many kills is because they have a strategy. Exactly. They have a strategy that they've practiced over and over again until they found enough patterns to maximize their wins and minimize their losses. Let's say the circle is something like this. You eyeball the middle of the circle. The game looks like it's ending like right here, right here, something like that, right? It's usually going to end somewhere around here. So just to immediately guarantee your guys' self a win, you can literally just camp in this area over here, and you're guaranteed to make it to the end game. And you'll probably get, who knows, 15 kills and a first place, which is like 30 okay. points, right? To get more points, we have to get more kills, which usually requires high risk, high reward scenarios, right? Where we have to kind of start breaking rules a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So one thing that we've always practiced and preached about is every point of interest, you treat it like the middle of a clock, right? Okay. And then what we do is we rotate around it like a clock. Do you remember that? Yes, I remember that. Awesome, awesome. So it would be something like this. Like, let's say um, you guys landed at top of Al Mazra City. You killed like six people. You guys get your loot. And now you want to go for more kills. You would immediately get to the edge of the map and then just rotate in a circle looking for kills on the outer edge. And once you cleared out the entire of Al Mazra City, now boom, you cross over to Hydro and you do the exact same thing. You go in a circle. And all three of your teammates are holding hands doing this. Next side, Rohan Oil, go in a circle. And you can do this with vehicles to do it even faster. Let's talk about attacking the enemies, though. You and your three teammates can literally just hold hands, rotate to the place with most cover, and then rotate behind them and just attack them. That's fine. What we do is we create three lanes. And what happens okay. is one teammate pushes to flank on the right, one teammate pushes to flank on the left, and then the teammate in the middle is, like, baiting. And then once so this... the middle guy is like a distraction. Exactly. Like a distraction. Exactly. And this would usually be like your sniper, your main AR player, something like that. Um, and when your teammates start pinching and you start seeing them get into gunfights, then this middle player pushes up to finish the kills. Ah, yes, yes. They'll all land together and just like play it together and just like rotate around it. And like they, they, they just land normally, right? Hold hands, stick to the outer edge, get to high ground, rotate, get your kills. Okay. Once they get their kills, what then happens is one player pushes all the way out towards the edge of the gas over here, and then the other two players, they push out towards this direction. And what happens is as the gas is pushing everyone else in towards the uh, circle, these players here, what they do is they literally just go back and forth and they control the entire map. Okay. And then these guys okay. over here, same thing. They're just going back and forth, back and forth like this. And this is how people are getting 50 like kills. And then they get first place and they get 100 points. It's because of this. Get on top of a building, enemies are pushing towards them because of the gas. Same thing with over here. Um, the only reason why I, I said two people go over here is because typically there's way more people at like Hydro, Mazra City, Oil. And then um, when the gas starts closing, so like obviously the, the gas would then start closing like this or something. These players, all they do is they just back up and then they do the exact same thing. They get towards like top observatory and now they just go even wider like this. This team goes back and forth. And then this solo player out here goes like back and forth like this. Ah, uh, so they just repeat with every circle. Like one go one guy camps on one side of the circle, and the other two will go to another side where there'll be more likely more people there. Yep, yep, exactly. And then usually around the fourth circle, sometimes the third circle, but usually around like the fourth circle, third circle, that's where these two guys they finally meet back up. Where it's like, okay, cool. Let's let's meet back up at Akdar Village. Okay, cool. He's there. And of course, they like drive there to get there faster. And now they're all met up right here. And now they can either just play for the win and just sit there. And usually that's what they do is 
At this point, they have like 50 kills. Just play for the win. Don't die. Get first place. Yeah. But if they're feeling themselves and they want to go for more kills, then you all three get together and then you do the exact same thing around the final circles all the way until it's over. So we just so this time we just go together in the final circle. We exactly. Just the circle together in the final circle. And that's around circle four. Yeah. Eventually we get to a point where like when we get to that end game, if you cut the map in half, do you visualize the only place we haven't cleared yet? Yeah, that uh the other side. Exactly. Like the other half. So when you get into the end game, when you guys are in the end game right here, all you have to look at is at this side and because, you guys like, don't have to worry about yeah. getting yeah and you don't have to ever worry about getting shot from behind because we killed all of them exactly you killed everyone from behind you so now you just got to focus on what's in front of you uh when we play duo quads so we land safe at like almazer city we get all of our weapons we go over here to get a vehicle and then once me and him get a vehicle we literally just drive around until we find a team that we want to fight. We'll be driving, we'll be driving, we'll see like one team up here and the gas is pushing them in. So we'll just literally wait right here. Boom, they get pushed in, we get those kills. We move on, we move on, we move on. And then like maybe we get right here and there's people on top of buildings, but we don't feel comfortable. If you don't feel comfortable, that's okay. Cause then you can just go over here and now that you're over here at cemetery, you might see some people out in the open pushing in you set up shop right here, you get those kills, and you just keep doing it all the way around. And eventually what happens is if you do it all the way around, you now make it to the end game. Yeah, we're making like a tornado basically. Yeah, exactly, exactly. The more that you practice this, you'll start finding patterns on like what buildings are easier than others where you will feel more and more conf conf confident to say, Ignore these guys. Let's just go to the other side of the map. Yeah. All I'm trying to show you is, hey, this is just a board game. The reason why they're getting so many kills is because they have a strategy. Exactly. Exactly. They have a strategy that they've practiced over and over again until they found enough patterns to predict and perfect how they play to maximize their wins and or actually minimize their losses.